So in this video, I'm going to give you my $1 million social media marketing agency client acquisition framework. Since launching my marketing agency back in late 2019, we have generated over $1 million in revenue. The framework I'm going to explain to you has been responsible for, I would estimate about 90 or 80% of our revenue. The other 10 to 20% of our revenue has come from word of mouth and referrals from our clients which we didn't have to do much work for because our clients just literally referred us to other business owners. So for a good, you know, let's just say 800 to $900,000, that has come directly from this framework. So I'm gonna pull up my laptop and walk you through this entire process from start to finish so that you can hopefully replicate this into your business. Now, I do not want you to copy this because this is very specific to the type of clients I work with, the type of service I offer, and the price point at which we offer that service. So enjoy the video, take some inspiration from it, and of course, if you need some extra help, we do have some spots open for this month in my mentorship program. You can check that out via the link in the description. Okay, so hopefully you have gone through all of those key things that we discussed previously. And you're in a position now to actually hand your outreach off to someone else. So hopefully I've convinced you enough and you are comfortable with actually handing it off to someone. Okay. So before we go and do all of that and we build SOPs and we hand it off to someone, we need to get clear of what this process is going to look like. Now, your process and the way you do outreach and the way you sign your clients may be different to the way I sign clients. So I'm going to give you two main ways. Okay. And these cover, I would say 80 to 90% of cases. If you are doing a slightly different method, that is fine. It just means that you have to be a little bit creative yourself and think of how you can build this into a framework. But to be honest, again, 80 to 90% at least of all outreach fits into this little framework. So I call this the IEC outreach framework. It is very, very basic. This obviously generates multiple six figures per year for my agency, and it generates multiple six figures for tons of agency owners, coaches, and consultants. So for my agency, I'm gonna give you the example right here. As you can see, top of the funnel here is point number one, which is the initial touch point. Okay, so this essentially means that we are reaching out to someone on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, or email for the first time, hence why it's called initial, right? This means they've never heard from us before and we are coming in cold. The second step in this funnel is for us to educate them. So many ways you can do this. We're going to talk a little bit about your free asset that you are going to build and provide to people. We're going to get onto that very, very soon. You can pick anything, right? It could be a free training that you offer them. It could be a free case study. It could be a free audit. You can get very creative with this. Just because everybody does a free case study does not mean that you have to do a free case study. I'll tell you what works for my agency and my business, but again, be creative with this. And then finally, the last step for C is call. This is essentially just, we seal the deal and boom, we've got a client in the door. So for my agency, we get probably 80% of our clients from Instagram, with a free case study, right? So with the initial touch point, we're choosing Instagram. Out of the educate, we're choosing free case study. And then of course, they're all hopping on calls with us, right? We do cold email as well. We've done outreach on LinkedIn, a little bit on Facebook, and we know all of those work. For us, we've gotten the best results with Instagram because we have many accounts that we can leverage for outreach. We've got five to 10 Instagram accounts that we do outreach from. So it's all going to depend on the resources you have and what you've tried and what's actually worked best for you. So if you want to follow in my footsteps, I would recommend going with Instagram or a social media platform, whether it's Instagram, LinkedIn, or Facebook, and then choosing a free asset and just making sure your asset is amazing. And we're going to get onto that very soon as well of how to build the asset. I'll give you a sample and just show you what that should look like. Okay, so this literally is the funnel, right? So you've got to have... I, initial touch point, E, which is educate, and finally C, which is then hopping on a call. Now, look, as I mentioned, you might not do calls with the clients you sign up. Who knows? You might have an automated funnel where people sign up to your free training, right? Let's say then you send them over a bunch of emails, you educate them, you nurture them, and they just sign up like that without booking a call. If that works for you, amazing. Right, but we're still going to look at how you can automate more of that funnel, specifically on this point here, getting more people into the top of the funnel. So this is what it looks like in my agency currently. So for initial touch point, this is delegated to a virtual assistant. Okay, so a virtual assistant is messaging businesses on Instagram and a little bit on LinkedIn, and then they're doing cold email as well. Now for the educate, this is fully educate. This is fully automated. Excuse me, using an email software. Okay. 
So we use Active Campaign, which again, you've probably heard me talk about before, and we are going to get into that. And I'll go through all of the templates you need to set this up. I will literally give you every Active Campaign campaign that I have, and also the Zapier links that I use as well. So you can literally copy pretty much everything from this, which again, is probably not something, something I should be doing because yeah, I think it's, it's just incredibly valuable. But yeah, I want to make this program as good as I possibly can. So initial touch point is delegated, educate is automated, and then the call is not so much delegated or automated, right? This is going to be yourself or if you have a sales rep or just a team member that knows a lot about what your offers are and who you provide that to and how to find a good client for you. So this is what we call again, that 50-50 approach, delegated, but also automated. Now, very key that we have both here. Like I mentioned before, if we were to just automate, we know that it would take a lot more initial touch points to even get a client. So we might be able to get a client out of, let's say, let's just say 100 touch points. Whereas if we were to automate the entire process, it might take 500 touch points just to get that one client. So for my business right now, this is what makes the most sense cost wise, but also time wise. Now, secondly, it is very important that we have automated some of this because if we were just to delegate all of this, it would mean that each VA is reaching out to, let's say, hundreds of people every day, and then they are basically sending them manually an email or a training or an audit all manually, which that's not very scalable. Okay, so for us, it's they put in a lot of time up here, finding prospects, messaging them, and hopefully converting them into a lead. And when they convert them into a lead, that's when they then pop them into our automation and the rest of the system just does the work. Now, this works for pretty much everything as I've mentioned, right? So 80 to 90% of outreach methods, whether you're doing cold email, LinkedIn, Instagram, or Facebook, all of this can work, right? Every single thing you can think of can run through this funnel right here, initial touch point, educate them, and then call them. So again, for my agency, it's mainly Instagram with a free case study, and then we hop on a call, but this can work for anything. For my education business, I don't do a free case study, but I do a free training, okay? So you can see how different industries will work better with different types of free assets. So again, we're gonna get into that, how you pick the right asset for you. But this right here is literally, like, I, like I've mentioned, this is generating multiple six figures per year, like multiple, multiple six figures per year. And it's so, so basic. It's something I developed over one year ago. And yeah, it works incredibly well. It's easy to monitor. It's easy to optimize. It's easy to see the numbers as we would have went through before with the outreach tracker, right? If you haven't seen that, make sure you watch all of the previous videos. But with that outreach tracker, I can see all of this. I can see this entire funnel, right? Every week, I get a bird's eye view of this entire funnel. How many initial touch points? How many leads? How many emails? How many calls? And how many clients? So I know all the numbers, how much it costs for every single thing. And that's why I can say with crystal clear clarity to you that it costs us anywhere on average from $50 to $150 to sign a new client. So this is a little look, right? So if you remember the outreach tracker, this is a screenshot from our current outreach tracker um, at the time of recording in 2021. Now, as you can see, this is broken down again, initial touch point, educate and call. So for initial touch point, we don't actually track this anymore. We track this at the start. So if you wanna track this, you can easily just add another column beside email sent to the left of it and put in your initial touch points. If you want your VA to track how many people they message or reach out to on a daily basis. We have no need to do that anymore because the time they would spend tracking all of that on a daily basis is actually not worth it anymore. And we have enough clarity with the emails and the calls for us to have this clarity, okay? So that is completely up to you. As you can see here with Educate, this links to the email sent, which is our free case study that we're sending via email, which is then putting them into an email sequence. So you can see in this week, we sent 275 emails. We got 275 leads. Out of that, we booked about 22 calls. I will mention one thing, and that is that a lot of people who book calls with us are people who saw our case study previously, right? So we might get 50% who saw it this week and booked this week. There's a very, very big portion that have seen it two, three, four weeks ago and have just been looking at what we're doing, looking at some of our clients, and then they will book in after a few weeks have passed. And because we're still sending them more emails and kind of warming them up before they book in that call. 
Okay, so got 22 calls booked in. As you can see here, this is just the increase or the decrease since last week. So the week before we had 28 calls, right? So again, we're having that clarity of why did we have a dip in calls? We can look into that and see what happened. As you can see here, we had a lot of no-shows. This was because of um, basically an uh, American holiday, I believe it was, that we didn't account for on a Monday. And pretty much everyone on Monday missed their call because they were all celebrating, okay? As you can see from here, then we got five clients out of this. So five out of, I think that's about 17 calls, right? So five clients out of 17 calls. It's not the best close rate. It's not the worst, okay? Again, really depends on who you're attracting, the quality of those leads, and of course, the offer that you have. But as I mentioned, you can do all of this yourself with the outreach tracker that we have in this program. So make sure to download that make a copy of it, make it into your own version, tweak whatever you need to tweak and use that right away. Because again, that's gonna give you that clarity so that you can literally optimize this funnel and scale it up in as many ways as you want. Like this funnel is so, it's so versatile in the fact that it's so easy. You know, all of what we're trying to do here is to strip complexity out of the entire process. This is so easy that if you want this to get to a million a year, Two million, two million a year, three million a year, like you can still use this funnel. This funnel is not going to break just because you've gotten over 50K per month. This has the fundamentals that will allow you to scale way, way past that. So ladies and gents, that is the framework that I have used to close over $1 million for my business. That video was actually a snippet from my high level accelerator program. This is where I will coach you one-to-one -one building every system you need to scale your business up to and beyond 30, 40, and even 50K per month. Now this program is not for those of you who are just starting off, but for those of you that have a couple clients and really don't have a predictable way of scaling, this is probably what you need. If you'd like to learn more about that program, you can go down below and book in a call with myself and we'll just see if you're a good fit. We genuinely only accept people if they're a good fit. This is not a sales call and we do have a limited number of spots each month. So please book the call, let's have a chat and we'll see if you're a good fit. Apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some value and I'll see you in the next one.